mic check one two so gamestop did me really dirty i was excited because i was able to find dreamcast games on their website and i was actually able to order them um and it was really just a one dreamcast game in particular being sonic adventure 2 battle so i was hopeful that for once i would be able to get a dreamcast game from gamestop that actually came in the dreamcast jewel case and of course I was let down, but beyond being let down by the fact that the game didn't come in the jewel case, I was also let down at the condition of the disc. Now on the surface, um, things seemed okay. Um, when I first looked at it here, I was like, okay, well at least they sent me the actual game. But then when you take the game out of the case or out of the, yeah, out of this little bootleg case that they have here and you actually look at the disc, this is what it wound up being. Now, this is absolutely terrible. I don't know if you can see this here, but there are a bunch of missing. It looks like there's just multiple spots on the disc that's just missing information flat out. Um, I don't even have to put this game into a case. Uh, sorry, I don't even have to put this game into a console to know that this is not going to work. Um, so I'm not even going to waste my time trying to test this out. Um, but on top of these like clear, you know, clear gashes on the surface of the disc, and it looks like it's actually starting to have disc rot on top of that. Um, you can like, you can't see it here in this image, but this disc has been buffed to death, basically. Um... You know, there's really nothing left for this disc to offer. It looks like it's been played um, the maximum number of times it could be played. And this Sonic 2 disc has definitely run its course. So this is a lose all the way around for uh, the Y2K collector. Um, I was excited, um, of course, again, that I was able to find a Dreamcast game online and I always I always give GameStop a chance to see if they'll pleasantly surprise me and I've had some pleasant surprises um, from them um, this summer um, being able to get uh, Mega Man X2 that was a long shot but it came to pass as well as a few um, you know complete in box GameCube GameCube games so um, no luck here um, and this will definitely have to be a return now on the bright side, I did um, pick up some cartridge-based games, um, which those actually wound up coming in intact. One of them being uh, a copy of Gradius 3 on the Super Nintendo. Um, as all of you know, I'm a huge shoot 'em up fan. And so um, Gradius was definitely one that I wanted to pick up. I'm definitely gonna have to open this up just to make sure it's authentic, but I'm, I'm almost positive this is an authentic game. I don't know many people that are making fake copies of Gradius. Um, this is like a very cheap game on the Super Nintendo. It's like a $10 game, a $13 game, so nothing too crazy. So um, definitely one that I felt was worth snagging up. And then um, they also had a copy of uh, UN Squadron on the Super Nintendo. So this is one that I really wanted. Um, you can actually play this game um, by getting the like Switch service, the Switch Online service. I think UN Squadron is, is one of those games that you can actually play. So um, pick this one up though. I actually had both uh, UN Squadron and Gradius on my collection a while back and sold those out of the collection. So I'm actually kind of glad to have both of these back. I have to test them and make sure that they work. Uh, so these this was a, a pleasant pickup as well. And then the last GameStop, I guess, pickup was this copy of Super C. Um, I actually have all of the original um, Contra cartridges, I think. I think this was the only NES Contra cartridge that I was missing, Super C. So I'm um, glad to actually add this into uh, the collection with the other Contra games that I have. Um, I had the Contra collection uh, on the Switch. 
and I think I actually sold that version. I may have it on the PS4 as well, I'm not too sure, but I definitely wanted to have these hard um, these hard copies, these, these the physical copy of the game Super C. So this was one that I was able to add, and these were all very cheap pickups. These cartridge-based ones from GameStop were like super cheap. These are all like 10 to $15 games. So those were some cool ones to find um, there. Then um, I picked up uh, this copy of uh, Naruto uh, Shippuden, uh, Naruto, for Naruto versus Sasuke. This is um, one of the Naruto games that actually plays kind of like a, like a beat em up game, like a beat em up style game. And um, I'm definitely a fan of that. Uh, one of my favorite uh, beat em ups of of really all beat em ups is actually a game on the Game Boy Advance, which is the Dragon Ball Adventure game, um, which is pretty much like, you know, you're just running through doing combos on enemies. It's actually like a side scrolling beat em up. So um, when I saw some of the footage for this Naruto game, it looked like it played the same. Um, and it surprisingly enough is an Atlas game. So um, this one looks really promising. I'm actually eager to get this one going and test this out. I've actually been playing my 3DS over the past couple days, so this should be a, a fun one to actually check out. So I'll be checking this one out tonight. So this was another solid um, find. And then last but not least, we have this copy of X-Men, the official game. Now, what's strange is that this copy of X-Men is actually um, very cheap as compared to the X-Men uh, Origins, like the Wolverine game. Um, and I would think that, you know, all things Wolverine would have, you know, uh, shot all the way through the roof in terms of pricing. But I was pleasantly surprised when I saw that this X-Men game was still well within reach because a lot of these Activision games are just going through the roof for some reason. Um, and uh, this copy of the X-Men game is still very, very cheap. This is like a $10 game. Um, and so I know eventually, eventually, because that's just the way things work, eventually this game um, is going to go up. It's going to go up in price. It's going to go up. I just have one of those feelings. I'm not saying this in hopes that it does go up because I hope it stays cheap so that more people people can get the game. But I just know how it goes with, especially when it comes to these Activision games, for some reason, they just kind of shoot up. And I've been wanting to, I've been collecting the Marvel games for pretty much the entire summer, the entire spring and summer. And this was one that I had my eye on for a while. So I told myself, you know what, before this game, like, goes all the way out the box i'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the collection um while it's you know a ten dollar game so i uh, had some really really cheap pickups all of these are like pretty cheap um especially when you think about you know the wolverine the naruto um contra uh and then you've got uh un squadron as well as gradius these are all like pretty solid games um all within the 10 to twenty dollar range i think naruto was like 18 bucks so really decent and then had this um very depressing um sonic 2 pickup so let me know what you think down in the comments what do you think about gamestop sending basically broken like a broken disc what do you think about that that's pretty disappointing gamestop you guys got to do better and then let me know what you think about this naruto game have you heard of this one have you played this one i'm interested to know your thoughts and uh lastly do you think that this x-men game is uh the next one to kind of blow up uh let me know what you think down in the comments uh it's a y2k collector hopefully you had a solid monday and i'll catch you in the next video take it easy